Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're simply going to determine the type of roots we can expect with these three examples. In order to do so, we need to calculate just the discriminants. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, the discriminant is equal to, again, b squared minus 4ac, b is 4, so that would be 4 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 3. Notice that's equal to 16, minus times the minus is plus, 16 times 3 is 48. So, yeah, I don't have to go any further really, you know that this is equal to 64, but you know that it's positive, so we say that d is greater than 0, so therefore there are two real roots. Alright, our next example, again, calculating the discriminant, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac, that's 6 squared minus 4, times a times c, which is 9. So this is 36 minus 36, which is equal to 0. So d equals 0, which means there's only one real root. In our third example, here again, we could go d is equal to b squared minus 4ac, but there's no b here, so that's 0 minus 4 times a times c, which is 1, all divided by 2a. So this is equal to negative 4 over 2, or negative 2. It's a negative number. D is less than 0, so therefore there are no real roots. Or we can also say there are two imaginary roots. And so very quickly, we can see by simply calculating the discriminant, if we're dealing with two real roots, one real root, or no real roots. And that is how it's done.